Hey man, what it is? This is Dame, and I am your host. And this is by any means. There go to Cash App, dollar sign Dame by any means. There go to PayPal at Dame by any means. Y'all already know what I'm about to say. I don't care if you leave a dollar, ten dollars, a thousand dollars. It is much, much, much appreciated. Hey, everybody who be showing love in the Cash App. And um, PayPal, that'd be super chat. And I just want to say, y'all, I appreciate you. I see you. I don't shout people out because I don't know if everybody want to know what people in all in their business, okay? You feel what I'm saying? I, I Listen, I think ahead. If you tell me to shout you out, you're going to get a shout out. But I don't know if you want people in your business. I appreciate y'all, though. I truly do. Hey, you right there. Hit that like button. Don't be eavesdropping. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, Yo, I rewatched Tank versus Frank. I rewatched Tank versus Frank, y'all, and I'll say that um, I am, I was highly impressed with both fighters. Let me start with Frank Martin first. Frank Martin was on his way to, if he could have kept doing what he was doing, to winning this fight versus Gervonta Davis. Frank Martin came to fight. fight. Frank showed heart. Um, I wish he would have stayed off the ropes and used his lateral movement, but you got to understand, y'all, Frank told you why he didn't do it, and I know that's why he didn't do it. Because when you get hit, y'all, and then you keep, and you still got to keep moving, and it's against somebody like Tank, and then you got to keep that punch output to make it look like you winning, even because not, not making it look like you winning, you are winning. That's a lot of energy, and it's only so much energy the human body can expend, man before you just slow down just a little bit. And that's all Javante Davis needed. That's all he needs. But if Frank would have kept doing what he was doing, Frank would have won this fight, y'all. I am really, like, re-watching it made me a bigger fan of Frank Martin. I was so impressed with this young man. I was so impressed with this young man. Um, Frank got good feet. Frank got a, a pop behind. Bo a, uh, he got pop in both hands. Frank is faster than you think he is. I, I seen Javante Davis was thrown off by that. Frank faster than you think he is. Um, and it's because he got the muscles and he, he explosive that it looks slower than it actually is. But it was, it, 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 it was, it was, this is why when Javante kept his gloves up and Frank was hitting them gloves, even on punches Frank was missing, he was doing damage. And that matters. That's that, that that means something. That means something in a fight. That create cuts. That create bruises. That create eye swelling. That create a lot of different things that can be detrimental to your opponent in a fight. Um, like I said, Frank Martin, the only thing Frank Martin ain't do is he didn't stay off the ropes. But to be honest with y'all, I don't think he was capable of doing it. Um, and we'll talk about Javante Davis, but it, it's we'll talk about why I was so impressed with him. Um, none of these other guys can just walk through Frank Martin. Rewatching that showed me none of these other guys I don't think capable of knocking Frank Martin out, to be honest. Not Keyshawn, not Shakur, not Loma, not none of them, not Devin, um, maybe Ryan Garcia, but I don't see Frank Martin getting hit with that left hook like that by Ryan Garcia. Um, Frank Martin, even though he got knocked out, Frank Martin showed me a lot. Frank Martin need to work on his um on his IQ, of course. That's always something you need to work on. But that's because he started late. I think Frank Martin, if he would have started earlier, he would have been further along by this time in his life. And that's just something that he we all knew going into that fight. Um, everything else that Frank was doing, I just want to see more of it. He got to get his conditioning all the way together. Frank got to understand that he got to be a movement, high output, um, foot on gas type of fighter. But slick, though, not just reckless. Frank Martin wasn't reckless in there. He wasn't reckless at all. But being able to do what you do all 12 rounds without slowing down. And I know, Frank, that's easier said than done. And everybody's not Gervonta. So, everybody's not going to need you to do that, but we've seen Artham cause you problems. Work on that body, work on your core. I know you got abs, but the abs, they can look nice, but can they take a punch? You feel what I'm saying? It, the fact that they look nice don't mean anything. Can it Can it withstand um, punishment? Because I believe Javante Davis' body shots 
is what was slowing Frank Martin down. Now, Javante Tank Davis. Incredible, man. Incredible. Um, Javante, the thing that impressed me the most about re-watching this fight with Javante, y'all, everybody else was more worried than he was. The arena, the announcers, his corner, even Derrick James and Frank Martin. Everybody was more concerned than Javante Davis was. Javante Davis was literally the calmest person in the building. He's unlocked alter in instinct, y'all. Javante Davis has unlocked ultra instinct. It's something else Um, I want to say. Javante Davis is the best in boxing at ring generalship. And this is why I, I know Shakur Stevenson can't beat him. Javante Davis is too good at it, y'all. Do you know, if you've rewatched him, Tank versus Frank, you know, I want y'all to look at one thing, y'all, one thing only. Do it for Dean and tell me, come back and tell me, Dean, you really know this box and stuff. I do. I thank you. I appreciate that. Um, Javante Davis has learned a little trick, y'all. And I've noticed he's been doing it, but I didn't really notice it until I rewatched it again. Y'all know when people, when they get tied up, because when Javante Davis throws a hard shot, Guys like to grab him. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? He goes through that a lot. They like to grab him and get Javante off his rhythm. Now, if you notice, y'all, when the ref comes and breaks, Javante does one thing that is very smart. He listens to the ref. Javante actually listens to the ref. Javante is not combative with the referee. That's a plus. Javante Davis is very good at it looking like you're holding him. And him get, and then that gives the ref leeway to let him be get the ability to let his hands go. And then once he does, he's able to start throwing shots at you. So the ref be coming in the break, but then he'd be like, ah, because he don't know if Javante going to get loose or not because he's trying to let him do that because it appears that the other guy is trying to withhold. Like Javante does a very good job of backing the rest of his body out. So the all, only thing that's left is his arms. So now it just looks like his opponent is just holding on to his arms. And the ref is going to let you get loose. Get Fight through it. Fight through it. You kept her, hearing Harvey Dot say, fight through it. And that's exactly what Javante Davis did. <laughs> that's exactly what he did. <laughs> oh, that wears a guy down because he's trying to grab you. He's trying to press you. And then once he lets you go, boom, boom, boom. Yeah, we back at it. Yeah. Guys don't like that in boxing, y'all. And in that same sequence, please, please, please look at this for me, y'all. Why well, I say Javante Davis got the best ring generalship in boxing. When the referee breaks them, Javante Davis don't take steps back from the referee. He breaks, but he stays right as close as possible to the ref in a break. Why does he do that, everybody? Please pay attention to this, y'all. Please, please, please. I'm begging you to re-watch this and come back and tell Dean if I'm lying. Gervonta, it's to the point where the ref even will be leaning Gervonta back because he's too close on the break. He's not holding the guy or nothing. He's away from him, but the ref wanting to go back a little bit, but the ref know he can't pause the fight that long to wait for that. So Javante Davis is as close to the referee as possible. Now watch this, y'all. The minute the referee gets out the way, everybody, Javante Davis basically, his footwork is so fast, y'all, he explodes to the fighter. And what I mean is, as soon as the ref breaks, Javante Davis is right back in front of whoever that is he's fighting. He don't even give the, the guy a chance to be out of range, y'all. Javante Davis is literally always in position to punch. As soon as they break, Javante basically power walks to his opponent, but in a in a controlled, like, um, militant way, though. Every time they break, when Frank Martin, as soon as Frank Martin got his hands back up, Javante Davis is right there. He's right there. You know what? Uh, and that was the most impressive thing. There's little knickknacks like that 
that makes somebody great. Javante Davis has learned boxing. Like, he has, he understands all of it that by this point. Stuff like that you probably wouldn't even have paid attention to. I paid – Javante Davis skips to his guy. He don't even give him a chance to create distance, y'all. How is Shakur Stevenson or Loma or any of these guys, they're going to have to try to do what Frank did. The problem is you're going to get tired doing that. And when you do, he ain't tired. Javante Davis barely threw. <laughs> He's been letting you go off. <laughs> He's been letting you think you're doing something. And then he starts to explode. And then he starts to throw more punches than you throw in rounds. And then he start putting his hands down. Then he starts showing you he's not worried about what you what you got. Now he got you backing up. Now he got you. Frank Martin felt himself in the corner without even knowing he was in the corner. Javante Davis don't need seven, eight, nine rounds to beat you. He don't need that. He all he needs is a little opening. And once you give them that little opening, it's over. That little opening gonna turn to a gash in in, in, in in 60 seconds. Because then he starts his output. The other thing I loved about Javante, y'all, that is I wanted to talk about the knickknacks of the things I saw. Javante Davis did not take his eyes off Frank Martin. He didn't blink, y'all. Go rewatch that fight. Please do that for Dean. He didn't blink, y'all. Anytime Frank Martin tried to use lateral movement, Javante Davis' eyes was right with him. Wherever he... Javante Davis' ring generalship is so good, he knows how to mirror his opponent. Know where you go. You Like, where you going? And this is why they had Rocky doing the chicken drills and um and Rocky. This is why his trainer had him chasing the chicken. You got to go to where he's going, not where he's at. You got to go to where he's going. That's the first rule they teach you when you're tackling in football. You got to run to where the runner's going, not where he's at. And then when Javante Davis sliding with you, slide to slide, everywhere you go, he's right there. But he's not throwing. So it, this is the thing, y'all. <laughs> If he not throwing, you is throwing. But the thing that throws the other fighters off is that he don't throw back all the time. So then they feel like, well, I got to get another combination off because he ain't throw. Normally a fighter would throw. He didn't throw. No, Javante Davis is rope a you. He's figuring out your pattern, your rhythm, how you like to fight. Because, y'all, I'm going to tell you when this fight was over. Frank Martin still looked good for another three and a half rounds, but I'm going to tell you when this fight was over. This fight was over halfway through the second round. Y'all going to say, Dean, that's the round Frank won. He won the next round too. This fight was over halfway, <laughs> halfway through the second round because I know what I saw, and I know what Javante Davis saw, and Javante Davis knew he's not going to be able to keep this up. He don't like that I hit him to the body. He's really worried about what I'm throwing. All I need him to do is tire a little bit. When Javante Davis said in the corner, he ain't got nothing. He ain't got nothing. He ain't got nothing on it. It was over. But that was that was later in the fight. But in that second round, I knew it was over. Javante Davis was smiling at him. I knew it was over. I said, this fight's over. But those are the little knickknacks, man. Javante Davis just, I was just so impressed with his um his footwork's better than you think. Um his IQ is, is second to none in this boxing game. His ring generalship, his defense as well, because that high Javante Davis don't leave you a lot of room to hit. He's similar to Pitbull Cruz in that way when he goes to that high guard. You're hitting gloves, and his elbows is tucked in. Javante Davis is not that big. So now his elbows is tucked in, and he linked over. So his gloves is covering his face. His elbows is basically covering his ribs and everything. So you got to really extend on punches to attack him at the body. When you do that, you're open, and then he counters. And y'all seen Javante start to land counters on Frank Martin. I knew the first time Javante landed that super hard left on Frank Martin, I believe that was in the second round. I knew that Frank Martin knew, oh, 
oh, oh, oh, this is real. This is not sparring. This is 15 ounce gloves. This is not, I mean, this is eight ounce gloves. This is not, it's not the same thing. He didn't expect Javante to be that focused neither. I didn't either. Javante Davis was literally the calmest person in the whole arena. That's a, that's a different level of mastery right there. He explodes to the fighter, y'all. Every time the ref broke them, at the minute the ref broke, the minute the referee got out the way, Javante Davis take a big skip, a big hop, and he's right back in distance in front of whoever it is. He don't give him a chance to bounce around and, and Ali, you know, move side. He ain't giving you a chance to do any of that. You could be winning. You could be throwing punches. You're going to have to. And Javante is very awkward, too. Like, like he don't throw when people think he's going to throw. He's very awkward in, when, in his timing. Like, and I think that catches a lot of guys off guard. Like, Javante will go from not throwing to throwing 10 punches in a row. He'll go from not throwing to not um, trying to um, hit you in between shots to you swinging. Now he swung three times in between shots. He's very, like, off cadence. It's hard to pick up Javante Davis' cadence while you're in the ring with him. That's why guys be so worried. But, man, I appreciate y'all, man, because I really wanted to talk about this, man. I appreciate y'all rocking with me. Y'all already know what this is, right? Dang. By any means. And I holla at y'all.